What do you think about uh Coach Latrell? Like what's y'all's what's y'all's relationship? Kind yeah, of like? I actually I actually really like Coach Latrell and Coach Finley. They've both been here. Coach Finley's been here for longer, but Coach Latrell came in the spring, I think. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he he always sits in the QB rooms. He's helping with us. And so I got to know him then and uh just kind of built in that relationship. And when he got hired, that's like him and Coach Finley is who I wanted to get hired just because keep the offense the same, keep yeah. terminology the same and stuff like that. But I think, um, you know, right now it's still kind of Lev's offense just because it's hard to – you can't change really change it yeah. within a couple of weeks before the bowl game. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I'm excited to see how he uh, he changes and adapts things yeah. come spring ball. Same. I can't wait to see how he, like – I don't know. Some of, some of the stuff I'm involved. looking at now, I'm yeah. kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. My, my biggest thing, too, was like kind of seeing him step into that, like that leadership role, too. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, when we had that break, and right after TCU, we got that whole break because uh, we didn't get into the, the Big 12 championship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Lab took that job, and I was wondering, I'm like, man, how is this, how is he going to lead the, how yeah, is he gonna I, lead the I, room? I've never really heard like Coach Latrell like talk, really. Like, yeah, facts. Like, he would like talk to me one on one, yeah. but like, in exactly. a group like, setting, a group I never setting. like in a group. So, like, you never like he never. You know, as an analyst, you don't. You're not like leading the room or anything. Yeah. So I never got to hear him like you know like step up and take charge. So I was really <laughs> curious to see that. Um, but I feel like he's done a. I feel like he's done a really good job these past yeah. couple of weeks. Kind he didn't of, hesitate at all. Yeah. Uh, and like the crazy part is like he's been doing a like really good job. But also he's been like trying to rec out on the road recruiting and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like really all the coaches have been like. The like the last week we had practice, mm -hmm. uh, all the coaches like especially Beatembo, like oh, all the coaches oh, yeah. were they've been, yeah they've been gone. Beatembo, I didn't think he was like he was at practice, but like <laughs> most of the time he was just on the road recruiting. <laughs> like he would just show up for like practice, yeah, basically. Yeah, like, get right back on the road for yeah, yeah for Coach Lachelle. He uh he got hired. Yeah, I'm calling him, talking to him. The next day, uh, he hit me up. I called him and talked to him, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm getting." Cleared by compliance, he go out and recruit, and the next day he's on the road flying like yeah. five different states. The next day, no, that's, that's crazy, insane turnaround for him. But I'm I think, super, I mean, I'm super yeah. happy for him. No, really. that's I respect that for sure. I think V said that like he went to like, or I think it was Jr. because he he flied with uh, V, but he said mm -hmm. he went to like 13 plus different states and like. <laughs> A span of a couple of days, bro. Like, I couldn't do that. Like over thirteen. Okay, bro? actually, like, if I'm in a PG, I could definitely do that. But, bro, I don't know. <laughs> but, bro. It's, but really like, it's really like you fly to a <laughs> state, talk for two hours. Fly to another state, talk yeah, for two hours. Like no, you got, you got to get. Yeah, so you got to be exhausted after. Like, that. Yeah. like a full week of doing that, you got imagine. Be and like every recruit, you have to like. You can't like seem like you're like tired and like you got yeah, jet lag. Like, like, like you gotta like <laughs> you gotta make their experience like special. Like I, I don't know if I could do that. Shake team, make it. By like the by like because <laughs> they visited all twenty whatever twenty seven uh, commits. You said what? He visited all twenty seven commits. Yeah. Twenty seven, bro. Yeah. But to be real, they oh, all signed too. You know. Yeah. But so that mean that yeah. kind of. But it just shows you. It, like it, it means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's he's probably the most genuine dude I've ever met on the recruiting side of things oh yeah literally like right as he got like literally the next day after he got hired he, like visited all of us like yeah, in sure. person <laughs> i was like <laughs> didn't even didn't even like recruit us at all no for before. i didn't even i didn't really know like maybe like jaron and yeah uh, some of the defense some of the other people. defensive dudes but jaron was committed to clemson right yeah yeah and v told him like v really told him like not to like he didn't want any of the clemson commits but jaron like wanted to follow v so that's why he's here but yeah, that's dope. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't really know, like, I knew of Coach V, but like, really, he got hired. And I was like, oh, nice. <clears throat> a couple hours later, he's just at my school. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. Like, what's up, bro? Like, <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> nah. Man, nah, it was game, cool. Bro. I had a, uh, it wasn't BV at first. It was um, before they even announced the coach. I think uh, Coach Stoops came to my crib. And uh, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, he's really trying to lock in. I, like that. 